College football in the 1900s was a quite different sport than what it is today. After it evolved from its rugby-like origin, college football was organized mostly by students. Many people throughout America thought the sport should be banned. In the early 1900s, the game's brutality had caused various college presidents to threaten to ban the sport in efforts to minimize injury and death rates. Teddy Roosevelt had a huge say in efforts to change the game. He believed that it was too dangerous and wanted to change the rules immediately. Soon after the rules were changed, the Intercollegiate Athletic Association of the United States was constructed in 1906. This organization became the National Collegiate Athletic Association, or the NCAA, and became the governing body of college football from rule changes as well as policies and procedures for all football programs. The very first bowl game was the East-West football game, played in the year 1902. It was later renamed to the Rose Bowl. The following year in 1903, one of the very first concrete stadiums was designed for the Harvard football team. During the 1900s, various improvements had been made to the game such as the legalization of the forward pass in 1906, the elimination of dangerous mass formations, the creation of the neutral zone between the offense and the defense, and the first down distance, doubled from 5 yards to 10 yards. The forward pass was prevalent in the defeat of Army by the infamous Notre Dame, led by Knut Rockne. Football as a sport has evolved since the 1900s till now. It is almost a completely new sport today after many years of rule changes and improvements to the game. Back in 1913, when Newt Rockney was a senior captain and left end on the roster, the University of Notre Dame football team made what proved to be an historic trip to West Point, New York. No Notre Dame team had ever traveled east of Pittsburgh before, but Jesse Harper brought his squad to the shores of the Hudson River for the first ever meeting between Notre Dame and Army. The result was a shocking 35-13 victory by Notre Dame over the powerful cadets in a game that popularized the use of the forward pass. It marked the only loss of the season for Army, and Notre Dame football would never be the same. That was the beginning of a storied rivalry between Notre Dame and Army in a series that celebrates its 50th meeting in 2010. The two teams played regularly for the next 35 years, including more than a few legendary meetings. In 1924, in the team's only ever meeting at the Polo Grounds, Notre Dame prevailed 13-7, as famed New York sports writer Grantland Rice dubbed the Notre Dame backfield the Four Horsemen. That Rockney team finished 10-0 and won the national championship. 
Four years later at Yankee Stadium, Rodney utilized his famed win one for the Gipper speech to motivate his Irish to a 12-6 come from behind win as Notre Dame scored the winning touchdown in the final three minutes. Notre Dame and Army played 22 times at the old Yankee Stadium with the best of those games coming in the 1940s when the Irish and the Black Knights ranked as perhaps the most accomplished two programs